No, what the fuck? Right, Tim. Perhaps but here you would... we go. Here goes the main event, man. The main event, man. The main, the main event. All right, Tim. Perhaps you would correctly guess cell phones are not allowed inside Michigan prisons. You can imagine the surprise of prison officials over this rap video filmed on a phone inside the Macomb Correctional Facility, raising all kinds of questions about how items from the outside end up in the hands of inmates. Victor Williams, live with what's in the video and how the state is reacting to it. Victor. Hey, Devin. You know, at first glance, this doesn't really seem like a big deal, but as you'll hear, this can lead to so many other problems as well. What? This is a big damn deal. No, it's not a big deal because have you? Seen, I've shown you the TikTok video they made. Yeah. Like they I'm just leave. saying the fact that, that prisoners are accessing cell phones, that is a big deal. Yeah, the it fact that they're be. living better than us. Like these yeah, you, you, you think you need Brittany really. Griner's doing this? You think no, Brittany Griner's doing this over there in Russia? These guys are winning. Like, think about it. You have to think about it. Like, if you weigh in the factor that these guys their 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 ceiling in the civilized world is maybe working at a warehouse. You know what I'm saying? And stacking boxes at a warehouse. That's their ceiling as a fucking as a law abiding citizen. And their ceiling as a as just a regular person in society, being who they are, their ceiling is a project hanging out in a project hallway. With shit stains in their drawers and um, looking over their shoulder for the ops. Living in here, if you take away the fact that there's no women in here, and that these guys, you know, they, they they'll fuck they'll fuck somebody in the ass quick. These guys are living the life. They have no responsibilities. They have no bills. They have nothing. They they don't have to juggle uh, a life uh no a mortgage college loans um shuttling kids around because they have a bunch of kids so they don't have to participate in the rearing of any of those kids they're just excluded from all responsibility and they get to live their fucking dreams they're making rap videos they're fucking chefs culinary scientists and shit they're fucking um, big time. Uh, they're in in within the street world, which is the world they live in. They're somebody. They're in jail. They're high ranking, you know, gang members in jail. These guys are winning. They they they're doing they're winning. We're out here running around fucking mammy judges and shit. Mammy judges, mammy lawyers, mammy sending the money. These guys, these guys, each one, like this guy, he's probably got like 10 fat white women sending him money and sending him fucking pictures and shit. I mean, they're winning. These guys are winning. How did they get the phone in there and what are they going to do about it? A music video shot behind bars at the Macomb Correctional Facility is the result of two cellmates getting together in hopes of making a hit. It's a serious offense and a very serious crime. You can feel the raw emotion of the song titled In This Cell. The video posted to YouTube back on November the damn news sounds like it was recorded through a telephone call. The video for sure recorded on a cell phone, which a prison spokesperson says can be dangerous. When you have a cell phone, we can't hear those calls. So you could be orchestrating a hit on someone. You could be trying to bring drugs into a facility. One half of the rap duo is behind bars for second degree murder. The other half for armed robbery. And it turns <laughs> <laughs> this is the more exposure than they could have. Listen, th th this is crazy. This Listen, if I could get this from my single that drops Friday. No man, bullshit. Really I was thinking good. the same thing. I was right. like, young, they... They gonna do more numbers than like all my videos. That, that one, prison, this one drink gonna do more numbers than all my music. Videos. They're gonna get, they're gonna get signed. That's right. What it is. They're gonna get signed. The, and and you know what else? That that prison spokesman, he had a guitar in the background. He should have been jamming with them. <laughs> should have been on there jamming instead instead of talking, being all upset about it. Yo, this is this is this is 
crazy, man. Like, <laughs> you do got a see guitar. That? See that? Yeah, there's a guitar right, right back there. See? This is, this, oh, is, this, is, this is the world we live in where these guys are literally winning. And we already cover here how hard it is to get them in there when they deserve <laughs> in the first it. place. <laughs> and then, but then they're complaining about America, but then you think Brittany Griner's doing that? I mean, that's, you know, no, Brittany Brittany Griner she's is breaking rocks. She's like making big, making big rocks into small rocks, man. Yeah. And she's living in a cell. Like these, it's only two of these guys in the cell. She's got like fifty people you know, trying to bring drugs into a facility. One half of the rap duo is behind bars for second degree murder. The other half for armed robbery. And it turns out this isn't the first time he's been in hot water for having something he's not, not supposed to. On his record, now he also has two additional uh, charges uh, from prison with prison contraband on top of the armed robbery charge that he came to prison with and lansing the oversight committee also discussed in the matter on tuesday the video shows another cell phone so we we know that there's at least two cell phones right look at all these gliders trying to make sense of this shit listen man gliders let me let me let me tell you something man <laughs> listen, you can't you can't save these guys these guys are in the greatest country to ever exist none of these guys have ever lived a day of an African villager or a day of a Vietnamese villager or somebody in the fucking Papua New Guinea. These guys have great lives on the outside world comparatively. They've lived the top one percentile of life, of quality of lives of everybody in the world. And they still ended up in a cage. You can't help them gliders. You can't fix this. You guys think you can fix everything. You can't fix this. Recharge that he came to prison with. And Lansing, the oversight committee, also discussing the matter on Tuesday. The video shows another cell phone, so we, we know that there's at least two cell phones. Both inmates have been separated and are now in segregation. With an investigation now opened, new charges are more than likely on the way, meaning more time behind bars. You know, all, 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 se all separating them... All separating them is going to do is they're just going to do solo projects now. <laughs> That's all double, happen. double the yeah. promotion. <laughs> exactly, double the amount, double the amount of record output now. You know, this is this is this is this is America. Sucked. Yeah, the song, the song was tough, man. I give that, but this is America, man. Where it's it's you're you're better off. These guys live better lives. If you take a see, like me. I think like there's no women in there. But that's only me because like this guy, these guys can they can fuck a guy. They've done time. Like these guys have been in and out of jail five years here, three years there. You've been in and out of jail. They're desensitized to that. They can fuck a guy. Me. I throw up when I see these fucking um, porn bombers and shit. I literally be fucking ready to vomit. I I need women. But if you're a guy who you can go three, five, six years in a place where there's no women available to you, there may be um, COs here and there, like female COs and whatnot, but there's no women that are available for you. You can, this life is pretty damn good. This life is pretty damn good. You're, you're, you're fucking making music videos. You got rank. You get to fucking do your little sun man street beef and shit in a controlled environment. You don't have to worry about getting shot. Which is their biggest, like, this guy. The leading cause of death for them. His leading cause of death is getting shot. And that's the one thing he doesn't have to worry about in here. From between the ages of 18 and 35, it's the leading cause of death. Jail <laughs> actually keeps a lot of some men alive. Real yep. talk, bro. He has, there's no, there's not a chance of him getting shot in here. There's no chance. There's zero chance. That another gang member is going to shoot him in there. Zero. And that's 
So you he you talk about winning. You removed his greatest fucking threat to his life. You feed him, you clothe him, you house him. He gets ranked for this shit. Him being in jail, yo, he did a bid. Yo, you know, he was locked up. I was locked up with him, man. That's my man. He, he, this is not a black one. He's not going to come back to this community with a scarlet letter on him for this shit. He's going to come back a fucking hero into his community for this shit. People are fighting Party and everything. conditions. Yeah, people are fighting for his conditions to be made better. They're literally actively right now as we speak like that one white chick. I forgot we covered a, a couple, maybe a couple weeks ago. The, the heroin addict chick who, did, who who came out and became an activist. A white girl. But she, um, this tons of people advocating for them, their life to be made even cushier every day in these places, man. This guy is winning. We're all a bunch of fucking fools out here. New charges are more than likely on the way. Meeting more time behind bars. We're hopeful that uh, upon the completion of the Michigan State Police investigation, we see prosecution to the fullest extent of the law. I don't know what they're saying, but it doesn't look like they're hurting anybody. It's unfortunate that they might get in trouble for it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Mammy. This is She's trying to smash. That's what that's right. About. She she loves she 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 wet right now. She How are you? Like them thick thighs. Yeah, <laughs> man. All the humanity. She gonna go home and fucking rub out one, man. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna find that video. Yeah. She says, "Send me the link. Send me the link." <laughs> and 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 this is what I'm talking about. Like he's with it, a, a hard working brother on his job, say a brother on a construction site. And he was making a rap video. I'm oh like, God, I can't believe they doing that. They got all that heavy equipment. That's wrong. I mean, somebody could get hurt. They're making rap videos with all that equipment around. Right. I mean, they, they're supposed to be working and stuff. She would she would not have no grace for a hardworking brother. A oh, hard, yeah. hard working, hard working guy she wants money from. But that guy she'll buy anything for. Exactly. That guy she will buy anything for that guy. But some guy who works, she wants money. Mm-hmm. Fucking these women are demons. Still smash. What they're saying, but yeah. I don't know what they're saying, but it doesn't look like they're hurting anybody. It's unfortunate that they might get in trouble for it. And it, and the thing is, is in the penitentiary, man. They're not hurting. They're not hurting nobody. Yeah, see, the, the, yeah, the only reason why they're not hurting anybody is because they're in the penitentiary, right? Exactly. Let God, them, dude. let them catch her ass slipping. Oh, exactly. and see, and see, this guy on camera, she'd be asking him for money. Oh, yeah, no, she, money. She, she wouldn't. She wouldn't. The, uh, her friend would be like, "Yeah, I got a nice guy for you," and he'd show up like talking like this and shit, and she'd be like, and she, yeah, he's corny. Yeah, he's corny. Yeah." <laughs> He he could stick around for fucking maybe a week. Um, if he if he, he if he paid if he, if he pays, pays to dinner. get her nails that pays to get her yeah. nails done and you know yeah. whatever, you he, know. He, 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 he might get two days. Yeah. yeah, the the fucking Pookie and fucking Ray Ray fucking um this guy fucking um literally goddamn, Pookie. That's them. This guy. <laughs> This guy right here, he's he a fucking love. PlayStation and fucking like six or seven games and shit. <laughs> fucking goddamn fucking stay in the fucking house with her fucking 15 year old daughter. <laughs> and he can cheat until he gets caught. Right yeah. And right he got two baby bombs. Yeah, she put her 15 year old daughter out. If the first daughter said he touched me, she put her out. Yeah. <laughs> Call her a liar, bitch. Get the fuck out of you, lying bitch. <laughs> you, you whore ass bitch. Yeah, but but, my but, man. Do, but dough boy better like be paying for dinner, for the nails, for the hair, everything. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise he broke. 